my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this amazing dark elf costume. I actually wanted to call this the blood elf, but I played World of Warcraft for a thousand years and I cannot call this a blood elf because that would be so disrespectful to all the blood elves from the horde. So yeah, let's just go with dark elf. The best thing about this costume is that it doesn't matter what you wear at all. The important thing are the accessories. So I'm going to show you how to make the headpiece and accessories. And all you need is wire, flowers and stuff you have at home. So it's perfect for last minute costumes. So yeah, without further ado, let's start with our dark elf costume. Are you ready? Let's get started. For this project, you don't need much and that's why it's perfect for a last minute costume. You just need wire, tape and some stuff to decorate. And that's it. And of course, in the stuff to decorate, we need to find some flowers. So I was thinking to use some white flowers to put some blood in them. But I think these ones are more beautiful. And they are also destroyed, so this is gonna be that. But let's start from the beginning. We need to make the base of the headpiece. I'm gonna cut a really long piece of wire and fold it in half and twist it. If your wire is thick enough, just take a really long piece of wire. In my case, it's really thin, so I need to twist it so it's a bit thicker. And just twist it until the end of the wire. Just like that. Now we're going to have a thicker line and we need two of these. Now we're just going to take the tape, the beginning of the wire, and we're going to tape the whole thing around. Go like this all along the piece and of course in both pieces. Ta-da! Now we're going to take the other piece and put these parts together. So we're going to put this wire inside the other and fold it like this and tape it from here. And now we are going to make this look nicer basically. To help me I'm going to use something round, leave one part a bit more open and twist it once, give it the round shape and twist it a couple times and repeat this process and like this all along the headpiece great now we're going to shape the loops a bit more like that so it looks more beautiful and all you have to do now is take the size of your head and the two remaining pieces pass it through the loop if it's like this or here or whatever and twist it again I'm going to twist the back part until it's all kind of flat and now I'm gonna take the center and I want to make this a bit more special yeah so I'm going to reshape that and I'm going to put this stone in here so I'm basically going to take some more wire, make a small loop there, small loop, and put it here, and this part there. Fix it in place, just twisting. That's the good thing about wire. You can just twist it and it will stay. And now I'm going to use the stone. Again, fix it in place by twisting it around. Now to fix this in place, I'm gonna use some hot glue. I happen to have this glittery one, so I just basically put hot glue around. I couldn't show you because I ran out of battery. Now I'm going to hang some more decorations from here. Ooh, yeah, and now I'm basically going to put all the decorations, some flowers, chains, and yeah, just gonna improvise until I get something I like. Turns out this bouquet has some tiny little flowers too, so I'm gonna use those. And now I'm going to hang some chain, using always some wire, of course. And ta -da! Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I'm almost sorry that I'm going to destroy it because this is a Halloween crown so now 
I'm gonna take red paint and we're going to cover this in blood. I'm gonna use a toothbrush for no reason at all. And yeah, I mean, just make a mess. Oh yes, this is much better. And now just let it dry and we will be done. Woo! And now that we have the headpiece, it's time for the makeover. Actually, my hair is already done for this costume. I did this with socks, no heat, perfect curls, incredible. The socks trick is black magic, I'm telling you. I'm gonna use the trick of the socks. And there's a thousand tutorials about that. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the socks and I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna brush this. <laughs> And now time for the makeup. I'm gonna start with something normal and cute and then I'm just gonna make it creepy. I love creepy. Wow. Well, this is creepy. Mm, I like it. Now for the outfit, I'm just gonna wear these. It's a broken dress and that's it. I mean, it doesn't matter. Put some stains of blood in there. Now, I'm going to use these things that I ordered on Aliexpress. I'm going to cut them open. I'm going to put them in my nails. Open them like this and... And put them here. And I'm going to do this with all the nails once I'm done. Because I'm not going to be able to do anything with this. <laughs> I'm also going to use these elf ears and the headpiece. And we will be done. Are you ready for the grand reveal? I'm sorry for the exhausted face So guys that was all for today's tutorial. I hope you liked it If you did it helps me a lot if you hit the like button comment and subscribe You know how this works for any questions comments or requests Hit me up in the comments below or in my Instagram little monster DIY Don't forget that there is a giveaway going until the 8th of this month So you still have time to participate if you didn't do so yet. I will link the video here and don't forget to hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I post a new video because I have a lot of cool stuff prepared for this year. So again, thank you very much for the support. You guys are the best. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bah. Ah! Okay, great. Amazing. Now it's all full of fish food. Wait, I was not filming. I was not filming. Amazing. And if you're interested in knowing how I'm doing the pictures, I uh, just took the <laughs> cover of the couch and hang it there and I'm using this as a background. Mm, this with glasses. The mood. <laughs>